Hello, YouTubers. Um, not today, not really yesterday. It was more this past week's Tuesday. I, uh, went to Walmart. And I found, uh, Fox Studios, uh, Marvel Legends series, Deadpool 2. Josh Brolin J Cable figure. Um, Fox Studios, Josh Brolin Cable figure is not my first Fox Marvel Legends figure at all. Uh, I don't know if I said in the last video, but um, Hugh Jackman Wolverine was my first Fox Studios Marvel Legend figure I got before Cable. It's just he didn't come in the mail until today, as I as I did the video. Um, but um. Uh, uh, I just wanted to have my Hugh Jackman figure in my hand, so when I say that he was the first figure, I can say what I said. Um, with proof. <laughs> uh, but, um, I'm gonna show the box, as always. Uh, the box is somewhat similar to this box, but different, which, as you can see, Instead of, um, which I'll compare the two, uh, as I will try, uh, instead of just showing the X logo, and instead of doing just a Deadpool logo, Deadpool put a Deadpool figure over the X-Men, and you can t tell, instead of the yellow line, it's a white line. And the whole box is red. And Deadpool scratched out the 14 that's already on there. And put uh, f 14 plus the uh, warning label. Scratched out the figure's name that's already on there on the box. And put Cable, Hasbro. The same background instead of a yellow and black it's black and white and same as always the plastic that's holding the figure um uh josh brolin's cable and then marvel legends uh cable name scratched out yada 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 K josh brolin's cable is same on the side so down with the box Okay, cool. Um, uh, on to Josh Brolin's cable and his accessories. Now, what I will say is that I really had a hard time to say what's a, a accessory and what's not because, um... As I'm going to get my stand to help me out with this. Um, and, uh, but, uh, he will come with two fisted hands. One for the robot arm, one for the human hand. But, I lost the human hand. The same, uh, the next day. Sadly, but even though I can't find the him and him, that's the fist, I started thinking why, even though it was cool for Hasbro to do that, but why did Hasbro give us a human fist hand when Cable never used his human fi hand as a fist? It was always the robot hand. If you go, if you guys go back and watch the whole entire movie, 
and focus just on cable. But anyway, uh, he comes with a gun, and his human hand is always holding the gun. That's why I barely care about losing it. Barely. <laughs> if I find it laying around somewhere, I'll I'll um uh make sure I put it with the um. Uh, Extra figure bag stuff. Um, but uh, he comes with a gun holding hand for the robot arm and human hand. I, uh, as I said, but I lost a human fist. So, um, so far as I still have the robot hand, which, um, I made sure I'm not, uh, yeah, so, but anyway, also as a, um, accessory, oh, now I remember the name, uh, <laughs> uh, you get the gun, and, which, I really love the gun, which, it's somewhat a pain to get inside his hand, what, what you're gonna have, to, oh, okay. It's easy to get out, but hard to get in. Um, I really like the detail on it. It is really cool. It is really movie realistic. Something future-ish, for sure. This piece can come off and go on. Which I prefer to keep it on. Because that's the only piece that I know of that he has in the movie. Okay. There. Um. He can take the vest off. I know he can take the vest off. And the cape. Which, let me take that off of him real quick. If I can, to show you in more detail. Joshie, you are not making it easy on me. And what... Okay, there we go. Um, I love the detail that they did with the robotic, though, too. Uh, but, um... That's why I said the vest and the cape is also a item accessory because he can take them off. I don't know how to take the vest off. Uh, so, I really don't. That's why I am not doing it now. Because I still don't know. Uh, how to take off the vest. <laughs> uh, but you can take the cape off. That's as much as I know of. And what's also a accessory is. He gets a handgun that you can take out. At the hostel. Ho ho Holster. Yeah. Okay there we go. Here's his handgun. Slide in his holster. Um. I'm not so I can this part okay is a pain because this gun holder part is like for his little mini shotgun which you can also put on the big gun but I prefer not to because he, the only time when the movies show him with it is in his hand and that's it. Not on the gun. Uh, not on the big gun. But anyway, this is his little mini shotgun or cannon gun. And this, and as I said, this is the gun. Holding 
uh, come on. So, if I can slide it back in. Uh, I know I can slide. I'm not gonna fight it for right now. Um, you know what, I'm gonna, oops. take the main gun out here's his vest you see he he got like magazines and the no uh first cannon gun uh you got the bear which i wish they did two black dots for the eyes and the nose but I, you can still tell it's a bear also i wish they put some black dirt on it because m until the end the bear looks clear but through the rest of the movie it's, it looks like a dirty hobo bear um i love the robotic arm it's very very robotic uh he doesn't have a Butterfly joint, but his arms do, like, act like they do. But, uh, very detailed. Like I said, I like how detailed the neck is with the robotic. I like the scarring. And to me, it looks, really looks like Josh Brolin. And if Hasbro ever want to do a Man in Black 3 or a Man in Black line at all take away the scars and the glowing eye you got Josh Bowen K head and add a little more hair but yeah and I like the hair completely um they didn't do they get the human arm pins and they didn't do what uh the human realistic as they did with the wolverine but that's okay i really don't mind it, 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 it what would agitate me is that they do if hasbro does do most of their figures and uh pins human arms and uh give them pins in the arms and do most of the figures in uh human uh and pinless look like like they did with the slime because um they get deadpool I believe pin in the arms and they give most of the figures pinless like so far this is pinless not pinless pin uh pinless not pinless but anyway I don't mind the robot arm having pins because if you think about it it's a robot arm no one's gonna pay attention to a robot arm. I mean, well, kind of, but... But it, it's like, it's a robot arm. Robot arms aren't supposed to look as close as human arms. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, back to the detail. I like how the belt is. It's not... Uh, so, uh, you can't... You, you can't move the bear, which that is kind of disappointing. Uh, there's a cable around his leg. I like the boots. You can, you get, you got this movement. You got the feet movement. And you got ankle pivot. You got ankle pivot. Unlike the Wolverine, which the Wolverine. Oh, well, actually, yeah, you do got ankle pivot. 
Awesome. Um, like, uh, well, you don't got butt, let, foot, back of the foot, touching butt-ish, perfect, but he, he got a double knee. That's the only thing that matters. On both legs. He got, uh, he got that. He got a stomach joint that he can move back, move back, uh, that much, not much that down. He got the same head, neck joint as Wolverine. He got a... He got like a yeah, babe. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to say, say I'm gonna go back, so I can change the future. Type look, head movement. Um, he got a uh, arm 360 as the other arm. He got uh, this movement as this arm does. He got a double elbow joint, as he does on this hand. Uh, and on the fist hand, you can go down and up. But with gun hand, it can only do lightsaber hand. Uh, up and down, up and down. Yeah. Do a dipple style. Yeah. Try and get him to you no. Dang. But anyway. Uh <laughs> oh boy. You guys knew what I was gonna go for. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. So yeah. Uh that's Josh Brolin for you. Uh I was thinking about starting this video in uh, a Terminator pose, like he, uh, like he's coming into the past, like ter uh, Terminator does. But anyway, uh, as put the cape on him, try and put this gun back in. It's very hard to get this gun in because you don't know what side to do. There we go. Now we got it. And, uh, if you hear music in, in the background, I'm sorry. That is not that is not my fault. I got someone that is that likes to agitate us. Um when I mean us, my mom, my sister and I. But anyway, there we go. Josh Brolin, not Thanos Josh Brolin, but Cable Josh Brolin. Uh but um also, um, uh, and he is movie, top from bottom, movie, detailed, awesome, complete looking movie, detail. I mean, come on. Whoever is a movie collector, figure movie collector, and don't, and say this does not look movie-ish realism. They're complete wrong, but, uh, 
what I would also like Hasbro to do in the X-Men Fox line is the Gifted show. Emma, that, uh... Uh, not Emma, but, uh, not Emma Frost, but, um, uh, because she's not on the show Gifted, but, um, in the show The Gifted, uh, Paul Lurs Magneto's daughter in the show Gifted, and, uh, three, uh, Frost's sisters, and the Legion show... David, Logan, Laura, X Men Apocalypse, Nightcrawler. So, those are the characters I would like for Hasbro to do for the next Fox movie line. Uh, but, yep, that's your first, uh, not really first look, but. He is in Walmarts around the world. You all know him. You all love him in Goonies. As one I not as one I really, but yeah, it. <laughs> and Thanos and Cable. And also in the Men in Black 30 movie. Uh, Josh Brolin figure. So, drop your comment down below. What was your favorite scene in Devil 2? Um, uh, who's your favorite Devil character? Or Devil generally? Um, uh, so, yeah. Peace.